Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Riverside Canal Boat. So I have already done a review of this set before, but it was over two years ago. So I thought I'd remake this video, as it's one of my favourite sets. So this is where the Riverside Canal Boat lives in my Sylvanian village. In this area between the seaside and the campsite. So I have the otters and the beavers living on the boat, as they would live in a river usually and this is how I normally have it set up there but I do sometimes swap this space to use it for the seaside cruiser houseboat as well but most of the time I do have the canal boat here because I love to have it set up in my village as it's one of my favourites and I think it's just so iconic so I've just taken it off of my seaside area so i can show you it all close up and in detail but it looks like it will need a quick dust first so i've now given it a good wipe and a dust so i'll show you the outside first so at the top we have a chimney that just goes up like that and then can be pushed back down again and then we have a flag that says Sylvanian families which is on this trapdoor to get up to the roof up here we also do have some of the pieces so we've got a life ring we've got this which I think is so you can kind of push yourself along if you were stuck somewhere I think but I'm not 100% sure we have a mop and a fishing rod with a hook And I love that these are all bright yellow. I'll move these to the side for a second so I can show you the washing line, which then this bit comes out to the side like a little crane. And then when you turn this, the hook goes down like that. So this boat is called the Rose of Sylvania 2. I think that's as far as it goes. Oh, I get how it works. It's also, it's pulling the washing line. That's cool. And then at this end, we have some lanterns. This one has green stickers in the bottom. That one has red, so I guess it's supposed to be like a green and a red light. So now we're at the front of the boat, you've got a ramp here and it says the name of the boat again on the side and then we've got another little flag and the anchor which is also the same yellow and this opens up so you've got storage under there and there are double doors here to go inside the ramp can actually go upside down on there like that when you're traveling and then here we are at the back of the boat again we've got the double doors there the rudder and some hanging baskets these can actually be taken off and hang at the front as well. And then we've got this with storage under there. And you can see that inside we have a bucket, which is yellow. And it's also got this blue flowery bit, which matches the design of the rest of the boat and all the stickers on the sides of the boat. So the hanging baskets can also hang off these hooks here. Like... Like 
that but I think they look better at the back so now I'll show you from the sides before we go inside so we've got these windows that all open up like that and the same on the other side so now I'll show you how to take the roof off to get to the inside so you just lift and it lifts the windows up on this side which you can then fold under like that and then da -da, you can now get to the inside of the boat so on the inside the boat is split up into three areas so we've got sleeping bathroom and then kind of a kitchen dining area so at the front here we have an oven and a sink and then all of these chairs all have storage underneath and also the ones this side do as well we have a table which just folds out I could do this really easily a minute ago there we go just have to kind of get your nail under this bit where it sticks out just try and flip it over like that and then in the middle part you can see it says toilet on these doors so they close like that so that either the toilet is closed off and the shower is closed off so it's like a hallway you can walk through or the whole bathroom is shut off so at this end we have a shower and then here we have the toilet and the toilet roll and then here we do have like a kind of bunk bed because it's got this bed that hangs above which can be there and it also can hang here as well but I think it makes more sense to have it up the other end as that ends kind of in the kitchen and it's kind of in the way of the table there but it just gives you options of where you could put it so that hangs there and then we've got these seats or beds underneath so it could be used as a sitting area if you took this out or you could have it as sleeping with the kind of extra bed in there so we can sleep up to five people if you use these as beds as well so it's perfect for a family of five which could be like mother father brother sister and a baby and things like that so that works really well it can, it's probably can fit people in it better than some of the houses because you've got five beds, you've got a bathroom and kitchen which also doubles up as like dining as well as sleeping with these benches there so yeah it is really good it's really special to me as I've had it for a long time it was one of the first sets that I got I don't know exactly when I got it but it was in one of the first couple of years I'd say so I started collecting in 2007 so it's probably somewhere around there not long after and yeah it's just so cool it's definitely one of my favorite things and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>